What is going on guys? It's Bucky and welcome to your ninth Premiere Pro tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over one of the most important panels and probably the last main panel tutorial I'm going to do and that's the tools panel. Now that's all of this crap right here but first of all it bugs me that it's over on the bottom right because on all of the other Adobe products it's over here on the left so what I like to do is I like to drag this over all the way until it's placed right here and again this is just wasted space so I'm gonna drag it just like this and that's how I have my interface set up all the time I just didn't want to drag it over there because you know for everyone out there watching it's probably over here and I didn't want to get you guys confused but this is how I always have my interface set up so that's how I'm gonna stick with this tutorial so now let's go ahead and go through all of these tools I'll go ahead and tell you what each one of them does and also tell you the hotkey for them. Now the hotkey is if you're too lazy to go and click on the tool, you can just use a keyboard shortcut and see how the tools are switching back and forth. So the very first tool is the selection tool and the hotkey for this is V. Now the selection tool is the tool that you're going to use 90% of the time. It's your main tool, you go ahead and use it to select clips. Um, you can go ahead and move clips and you can go ahead and actually if you go to the end of a clip for example this title is five seconds long and you want to make it longer just go ahead and go to the end of the clip and then it's gonna change into two little arrows with a bracket pull this out so now your title is 10 seconds long instead and this works the same with a video clip again you can't make it any longer because hey you only filmed for like 11 minutes you can't say oh what would happen if I saw the future so you can make it shorter by doing that but again you can't make it longer than you originally filmed for because you know it has no way of knowing what you filmed in the future so pretty much the selection tool is for selecting clips moving stuff around and changing the length the other tool we have right underneath it is a track select tool and that's A now let me go ahead and show you guys an example of when this would be handy whenever you have multiple things on the same track you can select them individually by using the selection tool or if you want to select them all at once you can go ahead and hit the track select tool and now once you select it it selects the entire track so for example if you had a title a video and an ending title you can just go ahead and hit this real quick and it's going to select everything on video one and also audio one since they're linked together now a ripple edit tool in the hotkey for this is B what this does is it change here let me go ahead and demonstrate this so now we have a title that's about 10 seconds long and I'm just I know you don't know how to cut but now we have a video that's 10 seconds long so if we put them side by side just like this using the selection tool we see that alright this is 10 seconds long this is 10 seconds long basically our entire movie is 20 seconds long so what the ripple edit tool is going to do is if we go ahead and select it or hit B it's going to change a length of a clip but the other clips on the track adjust accordingly so pretty much they don't change any other clips in any other way so in order to use this say you wanted to change the length of this title from 10 seconds down to 5 seconds so go ahead and put your current time indicator at 5 seconds and now slide this right to 5 seconds and now check it out your title is now 5 seconds long but the rest of your movie it doesn't change so it pretty much changes the duration of one clip or one image but it leaves everything else the same however this next tool under it the rolling edit tool is a little bit different it pretty much does the exact opposite of the ripple edit tool it keeps the total length of your entire movie but it changes both of these durations for example you know whenever we slid this it didn't change this one at all well check it out now now whenever we slide this for instance we want to make this title 15 seconds long it's gonna go ahead and bump that video so it shortens this so pretty much here's what I'm saying whenever you use the ripple edit tool it doesn't mess with the other clips at all it doesn't alter 36 whenever you're using the rolling it does change the clips it does alter other clips so again I really don't like to use those tools because I really just like to do it with the selection tool and 
I really only use the selection tool and the cut tool to be honest because everything else is kind of advanced and it's really easy to see whenever you use these two basic tools. So anyways, aside from that, I can go ahead and talk about another tool now and that's the rate stretch tool and that's this thing right here. What the rate stretch tool does is it pretty much takes a clip and let me go ahead and hide this temporarily so we're only looking at video one. It takes a clip and it pretty much changes the I want to say changes the speed of it so you see how this clip starts out with me looking down and it kind of ends with me with my eyes closed well that total length of time that that takes to happen is 10 seconds however with the rate stretch tool we can do it in 20 seconds and now that entire motion is gonna go twice as slow so it's pretty much if we play it now everything's gonna be in slow motion and I'm like talking like this however if we take that entire clip and make it only half the time now everything is gonna be super speed and I'm gonna be talking like this like a random fast forward so that's what that does it pretty much unlike you know just the selection tool whenever you're taking a piece off the end or you know you want to start at a different time it slows the clip down or speeds the clip up now the last tool I want to talk to you guys about well not the last tool but the last really important one is the razor tool it's probably my second most used tool after the selection tool what it pretty much does is it takes a clip and it splits it in two so for example I want to take this clip and I want to add a title in between so I would go ahead and get rid of my title first and I would split this in two with a razor tool and with a selection tool I would move it apart add my title in between and now move it back together so pretty much the movie stops and then you can see the title and it picks up right where it light leaves off so that's what the razor tool does and since the hotkey is C I call it the cut tool but it really isn't called the cut tool but if I call it that you know don't hate so that's what that does and these other tools I'm really not a big fan of them, but uh, I guess since you guys are probably going to yell at me if I don't cover them, I'll tell you guys about the slip and the slide tool. I never use the slip and the slide tool because I absolutely hate them, but the slip tool, it pretty much changes the duration. Whenever you have three clips in a row, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm not even going to talk about them because they're really advanced kind of technique for editing, and we're just here to cover the basics. But whenever you have three clips in a row, then this these things do some really weird things. Now the pen tool, let's just go ahead and skip down to this. The pen tool lets you add keyframes. For example, you know before when I told you guys that you can change the opacity by selecting a clip and going under here and making keyframes with this or you can go ahead and just change it right here and it add a keyframe. Well you can also add it right on the timeline by using the pen tool. Say you wanted to add a keyframe right here and maybe right here and right here then you can go ahead in your effects controls and switch from keyframe to keyframe and maybe fade this one out and fade this one out too and now you have a really weird looking clip so it's pretty much all the pen tool is is an alternative way to make keyframes that's it now the rest of these tools are really simple so if you guys feel like you're getting overwhelmed then trust me I'm about to dump things down a whole lot all the hand tool does is it's basically the same as this thing right here. You can go ahead and drag on your timeline and move it around. Really simple, really boring. I never use it. I just go ahead and use this all the time. Now the zoom tool is even more simple. Say you're zoomed out and you're like, all right, I want to work on this piece specifically. Just go ahead and maximize over there. Ooh, I had to hiccup. And let go, and there you go. It just zooms in. Say, all right, I want to work on these two keyframes zoom in and there you go so again I like to use this zoom tool instead so basically there are three different ways you can zoom on this thing right here which I never use because it's annoying this little bar at the bottom which I use a hundred percent of the time or this tool which I guess if you like using the tools there you go so that's basically all I have to cover on the tools again slip and slide 
are really some weird editing techniques and you're never really going to use them unless you're like making a full motion picture movie but for now we're just covering the basics so don't really worry about that so thank you guys for watching this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial I'm probably just going to go over the rest of these panels real quick because yes they're useful but we really don't need to concentrate on them as much as you know to go over every single thing like we did with the effects controls or the tools. So the rest of the panels are probably just going to take one tutorial and then we're going to get to the really cool stuff and showing you some really cool tricks. So again, you started out as a noob and hopefully you got a better understanding of Premiere Pro right now. So in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to take you to an intermediate Premiere Pro user to a total professional. So that's what you had to look forward to. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.